Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Oni for the Commodore 64, and this is a game request by Robert Mitchell on YouTube. Right, I've had a test run of this. It reminds me like um, a 3D isometric version of Commando, <laughs> hence wonder why it's called Arnie. I wonder if it's got anything to do with the film Commando. Um, don't know. Well, we can see one name on there, Chris. Perhaps the rest are invisible, because they've all got scores. Perhaps Chris was the only person to play it, then everyone else was invisible, I don't know. Let's play the game, enough waffle. Right, a nice helicopter there. There we go, we're Arnie. Don't fuck with me. So you get little arrows, point where you gotta go. Right, let's just not bother with shooting anyone. We'll just follow the arrows. Oh, almost got shot there. Oh, I got bloody killed. Bastard. How many lives do you get? Oh, there's a lot of action going on here. Right, just follow the arrows. Oh, bollocks. See, I think you get three lives in this game. And it makes a little noise. When you die, you go. That's nice, isn't it? No, oh, bang, and no. That's what you get. Oh, tank. I think I'll be going more than. And it's game over. <laughs> Just to tap it, top it off. Just to top it off. You know, you've probably seen my reviews if you're a regular sus subscriber to my channel. A, re a regular subscriber to my channel? What the fuck am I doing? Ah, oh, bollocks to it. I don't know what I'm doing. If you're a regular viewer on my channel, I should say, you probably know by now I hate uh, putting my name in with this stupid arcade style. Well, reason why, because you've got a keyboard right in front of you. What's the fucking point? Oh, we make it more arcadey by putting an ar that arcade style in. Make it arcadey, but I, I don't know why I fucking just said that. I was just a bit, bit pathetic, but there you go. <laughs> just sums me up. <laughs> oh, there we go again. Um, I suppose it's okay. I mean, Zeppelin would have, it would have been a budget game, but 1992 it did come out quite late in the Commodore 64's life. But I did have a Commodore 64 back in 1992, but it got replaced with the Amiga. I did get, I still have my Commodore 64. Obviously, when you get a a newer machine you don't play on the older machines anymore but yeah eventually I, I, I did I, so I didn't have this never in, oh what am I supposed to do here oh blah, 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 blah. I've just been blah, blah, blah. am I supposed no I thought they were arrows so you don't oh what's going on oh, I've been blah, 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 again Oh, here we go. Follow the arrows. Follow the arrows. Don't fall off. Yeah, graphic clip. Hang on, where am I supposed to go now? I can't go anywhere. I'm supposed to go back over. Yeah, cool sign. Yeah, graphically, I suppose it does the job. I suppose it's something a little bit different. An isometric shoot 'em up game. I mean, there's plenty to do before getting blooped. Blah, blah, this game over again, you only get three lives. Oh, bollocks to this name entry bullshit. Right, let's have another go. Sorry, Arnold. Oh. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, I'm, I'm just... I'm only guessing. We're just obviously playing a character called Arnie. I wonder if it was influenced by Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's all I'm saying. With his commando. Actually, he wasn't... Really dressed up. He was, he was sort of dressed up in the army gear, wasn't he? Of course he was. He didn't have the hat. He didn't have the army helmet. But I reckon he's been heavily influenced by Commando. 
and sort of shoot them up games, who dares win? I know, let's make it 3D isometric, let's be different. That's good, I have been different. What do we have here? Is this. Oh, I can't get it. You know, it's. I'm not criticising it, it's not a bad game. I do like my shoot em ups. I mean, it's not overly stupidly hard, it's just me playing the game badly. I mean, I, I mean, that was the first time I played, well, this, this is really the first time I'm really playing it. You know, a, a fair distance in this game. Not the first level, of course, but it's my first real game, so what do you expect? But at least it's giving you a chance. So I can't be critical there. Something that gives you a child play some sh fucking well old games you can't even get anywhere. Alright, go over there. Oh, blubbed! Been blubbed again! Right, follow the arrows. Oh, blubbed! <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll put my name in this time. That O looks like a B for some reason. I want to put H. Right, here we go. Here we go. At least I've got a name on there now. Come on, respond, you bastard. Surprise, there's no music, you know. Would be nice to have, no, 1992. I think a little bit of music would have been nice. Perhaps they ran out of composers, I don't know. Perhaps they couldn't find a composer. Perhaps they wanted too much money. I don't know. But game itself is not a bad little game, to be honest with you. I quite, in well, I quite enjoyed it. Yeah, worth checking out if you haven't played it already. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and goodbye. <laughs>